establish in this community to yeah. protect well, the, 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 and yeah, in, in, in a way, there is a continuity. I think you can be fairly sure that there, was, that there are still people living in this area who are related to the people who lived here 1,500 years ago. I think that's that, that, that's almost certainly the case. Um, and so there is actually, if you like, a living continuity. Mm -hmm. And we try and see it as... Um, it, 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 history only matters if it's relevant to people mm -hmm. and um, people get a better understanding of, of, of what's here. Um, that's the way to protect it mm -hmm. as well. So it's, mm -hmm. it's like a, the, the more we can raise the profile, we, will, we can make it a mainstream place for people to visit. We, we, we've got other things we've got planned. So as soon as the digs are finished, where we're sitting, there will be a picnic table. Um, so people will actually so people be, able to, be able to sit, sit up sit here, here. And, and look out. There's going to be another one down at Court uh -huh. Cave and another one up down on the green in front of the castle. Mm -hmm. Part of the reasons we're doing the excavations in Court Cave is so that we can put a wheelchair accessible uh -huh. perth uh -huh. so off the f coastal perth a little spur that runs into the cave so ah, that people so with mobility issues can go in and see these pictish carvings that they've never been uh -huh. able to see before so Amazing. it's all about opening up the space inviting mm -hmm. people in and hoping from that uh, i mean there is a sense of ownership. don't get me wrong it's not that we're we're not sort of white knights riding mm -hmm. to the rescue as swacks mm -hmm. we can't do anything without the support and involvement of of people who do live and, and work in the village um, so that's mm -hmm. very much how we see our role is bringing all what we can together to, um, to, 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 yeah, I mean, the, the, 30 years ago, it was the people, it was local people living in the village that mm -hmm. started the fight to save the caves because mm -hmm. a, a car was driven into one of the caves, it was set on fire, yeah, it destroyed a set of Pictish carvings, mm -hmm. and as a result of that, a group of people got together from the village, three uh, Frank Rankin, um, Ann Waters, and um, Bill Barker in particular, they formed. Save Reams Ancient Cave Society, and from that small beginning, mm -hmm. and through their tireless work and the work of other volunteers, we're here now. And it, it's also there is 30 years of organised mm -hmm. activity to, to do something about this place. And we're just about to go out and do some digging. We so, are, yes, yeah, so. we are. So let's see what we can find. Yeah. Um, I can't promise you a great deal. We're finding a lot of sand at the moment <laughs> up on the promontory. <laughs> Haven't found the ditches that I'm looking for, but. Uh, I'm just saying that they're, they're just in between the trenches that we've put in. Okay. They're there somewhere. We'll find, we'll, them. We'll find, them. We'll find, find them. them. Let's go find them. Thank you, Mike. Okay. Mike Carlos Smith. So is it loose? Is it compacted? Is it completed? Colour? Brown. Orange brown. Red brown. Grey. You know, with, with modifiers. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Composition, particle size, what, what's the soil like? Whoever you're working with, I think everyone here has done archaeology before, but it's essentially, is it a sand, is it a clay, is it a silt? And what's the, <coughs> what's the composition? The other hazard up here actually is pollen. It's been doing my head in. So don't hurt your back sneezing, because it's my usual trick as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sand, clay or silt, because that tells us how it formed, how it got here, and mm -hmm. what proportion of each is it? What's the inclusions like? Because we've um, got a lot of natural gravels, we've had a lot of sort of very rounded pea gravel, which mm -hmm. is typical of this sort of um, a raised beachy type environment in, in sand. So make a note of, are you getting stones? Are they rounded? What sort of size they are? Are they very angular? Mm -hmm. And any other comments. Um, so you stop when you hit a change and then you'd go down either the next 20 centimetres mm -hmm. or until you hit the next change. You just stop and record. You do have on the underside. You've got a nice crib sheet. That uh, this is one we made earlier, and it's laminated as well. Even better. Hello, this is Lisa for K107, and we're here with uh, Sue Hanstead, who is the vice chair of the Save the Weems Ancient Cave Society. Hello, Sue. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Oh, thank you. You've been looking after me all day today, making sure I don't get lost and. We're doing our best. <laughs> <laughs> and you've, from what I can see, you've had a very successful few days with the your week of archaeology. It's been a really fantastic time. Uh -huh. I mean, the the chance to dig in the caves just does not come up very mm -hmm. often because there are scheduled monuments. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's not a matter of just deciding we're going to do this. It's mm -hmm. a, a long process to get all the permissions from Historic Environment Scotland mm -hmm. and you have to mm -hmm. have a, a well-developed plan and say exactly where you want the trenches mm -hmm. and you, you can't deviate from that. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a long, long process that has led up to this. Mm -hmm. And it's the first dig we've had at the cave since 2004 when Time Team were here. So yeah. Uh, yeah. it's absolutely fantastic to 
to be around for this. Yeah, and I'm, I'm right in seeing the time team when they were there, they managed to establish that people not only visited the caves, but actually they stayed there. So, well, yeah, the caves have been used for lots of different things, mm-hmm. we think, over the years, mm-hmm. and uh, possibly to live in from time to mm-hmm. time. Um, I mean, they're famous for, for their Pictish carvings mm-hmm. more than anything, and we don't think the Picts really were actually living in the caves, mm-hmm. or unless in times of disaster or something mm-hmm. like that, they would have had their houses, but they do seem to use the caves as a kind of special space, you know, mm-hmm. that's, we, we presume why they, they took the trouble of doing these carvings mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, people might live in them from time to time, mm-hmm. uh, but it's, you know, more likely that it's just a temporary thing mm-hmm. or, uh, you know, in times of disaster or something, mm-hmm. uh, the storm's blowing down all their houses, maybe. They, yeah. You know, it's a, it's a great place for a refuge. Yeah, because standing in the, the Sling Cave earlier on, when you're a couple of metres in, you literally can't hear anything from outside. The acoustics is quite interesting. It's, yeah, it's a wonderful thing about uh-huh. the caves. Um, you don't have to be very far into any of them. Uh-huh. And even if it's got quite a r- wide entrance, you just... It really takes me by surprise how much of the, the background noise it is. It just disappears. Okay, like, you know, there's always the sound of the sea outside, but that, that is so muted once you're mm-hmm. inside the caves. Okay. I understand, as well as being the vice chair, you're also the chief guide yeah, that's for right. the organisation. Yeah, we've got, we've got a, a team of guides that, uh-huh. that are responsible for the, the guided tours mm-hmm. that we do around the caves. And mm-hmm. we've got some uh, wonderful new people recently who have uh-huh. trained up to help with that mm-hmm. but yeah I'm, uh, I guess I've been doing it the longest now as of our regular people uh-huh. so it's, uh, and uh, yes I'm responsible for training other people mm-hmm. up. And uh, is there more uh, guided tours on throughout the summer? Yeah we're mm-hmm. open every Sunday uh, to the end of September uh-huh. um, and so you can sign up for guided tours online mm-hmm. so if you go to our website which is weemscaves.org mm-hmm. uh, you can find the, the page where you can sign up for the tours mm-hmm. um, the tours leave the visitor centre at uh, 2.30 mm-hmm. um, but uh, the visitor centre is new to us this year we used yeah. to do everything from the basement of the, the school yes. and they hosted mm-hmm. us for many years and we're mm-hmm. really grateful for that but mm-hmm. now we've got a building that is purely for our use mm-hmm. and we've got um, all the um, exhibits in our mm-hmm. little museum have been kind of uh, uh, redisplayed mm-hmm. and chosen carefully to, you know, to really reflect the history mm-hmm. of the place uh, as well as the caves. And all the information on the information boards there is all mm-hmm. uh, newly developed from what was there before. You know, mm-hmm. there was lots of repetition and mm-hmm. various mistakes in the information in the old place, which had just been there kind of historically uh, so you know it was a good chance to ju- yeah. actually just you know redo the lot and um, you know make it more what reflect more of what we know now about uh-huh. the caves which yeah. maybe wasn't known before so you've almost had a chance to re-collaborate what you've been doing with your new venue yes yes a chance to, yes yeah, just yeah. a chance to start again how how has your interest been fostered through the caves, how have you come to being involved well, with uh, the society? I've had various jobs throughout my life, but mm-hmm. the, the last was in classics, so mm-hmm. I was a specialist in ancient Greek literature and language, wow. uh, which is not very like the pigs, but it's still history, and mm-hmm. so I have an, an interest in you know things historical. And, um, yeah, so with the Picts, it was... Uh, the most relevant thing to the area I've moved mm-hmm. into. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was always a bit of an armchair archaeologist <laughs> before. I li- loved watching Time TV mm-hmm. and things like that. But um, since moving up here, since, you know, we took early retirement, uh-huh. so, you know, I've got all my time to myself to do things I really, really love. And uh, so I've been volunteering on digs around the place and... Uh-huh. Uh, volunteering with the, the, the caves group since I moved up here. Uh-huh. Uh, so it was through the Time Team programme I actually had heard about these caves before ah. I moved here. So, so, so yes. and, and today you were in the Sliden Cave, which was last excavated by the Time Team in that's, 2004. That's right, yeah. 
That's right. Yeah. As a part of the organisation and as the chief guide. So after seeing it on telly. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. 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 So how can how can the the public help Sue? How can um, anyone that's interested in the caves? help the organisation out? We're always looking for new volunteers mm-hmm. to help in lots of ways. So mm-hmm. we now run this visitor centre. We're open every Sunday. So mm-hmm. the more people we've got to lend a hand with what we're doing there, mm-hmm. the better it is for us. And we, you know, we love to get more and more local people. I mean, mm-hmm. I live in the next village along, so I'm mm-hmm. not that far away. But, uh, uh, but it's great to get, you know, people who have an interest and want to learn more. And, uh, yeah. you know, we would help them develop it in any way they wanted to mm-hmm. with the, the volunteering. So. so, And people can contact you through the website and they can also the website, pop, yeah. pop into the visitor centre that's right, for yeah, a chat. That's right, Hall in East Twins, yeah, so that's, uh, that's where we're based now. And yeah, so get in touch. That's great. Thank you very much, Sue. A pleasure. Thank you. And there you have it. That is a K107 at Weems Caves Archaeology Week. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more Um, If you look on the Save the Weems Ancient Cave Society website, which is weemscave.org, it's an absolutely beautiful place to visit right on our coast. And now back to John Murray in the studio.